The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please let 
those who remain standing. Sorry. Are you ready when the Lord shall come? Are you ready? Are you ready when the Lord shall come? In the morning, six o'clock. In the evening, five o'clock. Are you ready when the Lord shall come? Are you ready? Your hands. May God forgive her our sins and rest her soul in Abraham's bosom to Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, the words in the gospel of today, Jesus' words to his disciples, is a consolation for the Alibigadas family and for all of us gathered here. He says, let us not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, also believe in me. For in my father's house, there are many rooms. And that is why I title a little reflection for this evening, Thus, prepare for death. What did I say? Prepare for death. Because as mighty as you are, as great as you are, and as low as you are, one day, somehow, somewhere, it will come like a tea. And it is my prayer that as it has come for our sister today, when it comes to us, will be found worthy at the throne of grace to enter the kingdom which Jesus has prepared for us through Christ our Lord. Yeah. Again, brothers and sisters in Christ, let us take this time out of you a second to meditate on the word of God that we have just listened to. In the soul of our mother, in the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us now rise for the prayer of the faithful. We invite the Lord, uh, first the children of uh, our grandmother, Mr. Osi Adenihena, please come forward. Mr. John, come forward. Mr. Jas, Master Osi, Mr. Sabella, please come forward. For the eye of the altar, please. Let us pray with faith and confidence to God our Father, who lives forever and who can do all things. As he raised his son Jesus Christ from the dead, 
So may he give peace and salvation to both the living and the dead. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Gabriel Jr., other Bishop, priests, and religious, that the good Lord will continue to bless and strengthen them. We pray, O Lord. Sisters, we all have to come after the Christ communion prayer, which is the traditional practice of our houses. So at this moment, our choir please lead us in the song of consecration.
to humbly present to you this sacrificial offering, O oh Lord, for the salvation of your servant Monica Alvechela. We beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful joy. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As one alone the dead, that we might all escape from dying, as one man he chose to die. Throw in your sight, you are mightly forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation. Give it thanks. And you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and gave her a bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Lady Monica Alimikana, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with the son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters for the hope of the resurrection and our Lord died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. Now the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, Saint Monica, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages. Remember Mary to be coerced to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. The seeds of the Lord be with you always. I may praise and glorify you Of the world. Isn't that those called the supper of the Lamb?
prayer before Holy Communion. O oh God, I mean to make good communion. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My angel God, uh, lead me to the altar of God. It is now time for the reception of Holy Communion. It's for those who baptize and practice Catholic. If you don't belong to that class of fences, please don't come forward. You may not all come to the rear or the center eye of the church. For those at my right wing, we may just form a line behind, we form a line, and then there will be three lines in front for those who are in front to come forward. Thank you very much, our dear Dean. We want to invite forward for a remark, the first son of our mother. Family for you know, for coming out to celebrate with us 
over the demise of our mom. Uh, like Father has said, you know, there's always a beginning and there's always an end. You know, and you should hold Christ in the beginning and the end. Mom was a very wonderful person. She taught me how to be humble, to be spiritual, to be patient. And mommy was someone who, who stood firm for his family, for my dad, his kids, grandchildren, even other children from outside. Mommy opened her door, door the door, for everybody to come in. She was somebody who is very slow to handle. I just can't believe that she's gone. But we are so blessed in perfect peace. Uh, tomorrow, that's a small announcement, we'll be having uh, the funeral mass by 10 o'clock tomorrow. So please, you are all invited. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, uh, there is a reception that will follow immediately after the mass, but there is uh, an uh, inter internment where they will be laying uh, mommy into you know, final rest. But that one is only for family members, please. Family members, but the rest of you, we go to the field and we meet you all there. Thank you very much. Ramon. Thank you very much. God bless you. Please let us take it at 10 a.m. tomorrow for the funeral mass, like you have said. Um, after the mass, the priests and the family, the immediate family, by that I mean the father and children, would uh, go to where mommy's uh, laid. Uh, in the house for a prayer, a word of prayer. Please, only the family members, the immediate family members and the priests, for reason of space, please. Others will just be here and you pray for the peaceful repose of the soul of our mother. Once again, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.